Okay, so before we go any further, we will require to do a firmware update. Now, this will be for the Phantom 4 Plus and not the Phantom 4 Pro, which um, I will do a separate video on because it will be slightly different. It'll be just as simple, but slightly different. So to update the firmware, what we do, we tap on here. And as you will see, you've got all your details here, version of the update, update logs here. And we have here, prepare to update. Now, what we do is we have an adapter, which I meant to show you at the start, bling, in this little bag. So what we do is we open up the little bag, pull the adapter out. We are also going to need the USB lead, which is also included. Right, you'll see a USB socket on the side of the craft, which is what the adapter goes into. Standard USB adapter. Now, I've just got this on its side for the update so you can see it, but again, don't have it on its side because you'll just miff off the, uh, the gimbal. Then the connector goes in there, and then, as you can see from the little graphic, I don't know if you can see that, it's probably a wee bit small. Um, this plugs into the USB port on the controller, which I mentioned earlier, which I actually thought was for something else, but I'm forgetting that this controller was the plus model. Let's spin that back around, you should be able to see it now. And now we have got downloading, and it's now going to download the firmware. Let's put one in there, put that there. Yeah, left a bit to me, to you, to me. Uh, and it's going to download the firmware from the internet. Um, onto the tablet, and then from the tablet, it can then update itself and it can update the craft as well. So we will let that download, what is it saying at the moment? Downloading 2%. I am going to spare you what is probably going to be a long time and I'm going to pause the video. Okay, once it's uh, finished downloading, we're going to go on the next screen and that is now going to start updating. So I'll just move that a bit more central there. Just while that's updating, we're at 2%. It says it can take up to 15 minutes. Um, during the downloading, although I've cut the video, I'll be honest with you, it did actually time out a few times. It came up saying um, connection failure, uh, restart the devices. Uh, you do. You basically do. You have to switch off the controller, switch off the craft, reboot it. If it has downloaded, say, 50%, it will pick up from the 50% point. Now, I don't know if it was my internet connection, but to be honest with you, it took a good 45 minutes of downloading to actually download that firmware. Uh, it's not a particularly big download, so why it took so long, I'm not sure. It, to be honest, it might have just been my broadband, I'm not really sure. But I did have to restart it two or three times. Simply pressing the upgrade back button and going back and then back into the app, to be honest, it, it didn't work. It just started the update and then it just failed again, so you do have to completely do it. Right, again, that's going to take probably about 15 minutes. We're on 12% just now, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to pause the video just so you're not hanging about. Just while that's updating, I'm just going to touch on a couple of things. While it's updating, you will notice the craft will make funny noises, lights will go on and off, the gimbal will probably fall limp. Don't worry about it. That's all the different components of the craft doing their thing. Okay, that's us just about done. The craft has just done a full uh, restart, you little peeping away, and that is us complete. So we're just going to complete that, restart your aircraft. So we want to turn the aircraft off by obviously pushing the button. You hear it all going quiet there. And then we're going to push it back on. There we go. Beep, beep, beep. Could almost make that a ringtone. Okay, so once we've got that all updated, what we will need to do, obviously, in fact, but we'll just pull that back. Right, once we've got that updated, we'll need to obviously disconnect the cable. So you've obviously got one there, plug, plug that, and then we have the one in the side of the craft, disconnect that. And once that's disconnected, as you will now see on, ooh, boop, boop, up, there we go. 
we can now get connected back to the craft. Here we go, back to, oops. As you say, although that actually said there, you probably noticed, uh, if we go back to status bar, it does say updates required. Sometimes what happens is the fact that it needs an update actually caches, but if you actually go in, you'll actually see there's no update required. You'll find that when you restart the, the controller again, it will actually clear that out.